Hello everyone, this is Dr. Dhiman and I welcome you all to this physics tutorial series in class 11 physics. I am solving the problems from the NCERT textbook. So in this video, we will see or we will solve the problem number 2.20 from the chapter number 2. So in this problem we have the nearest star in our solar system is 4.29 light years away. How much is this distance in terms of parsec? So first of all, we have to convert this light years unit in terms of meter and then we will convert into parsec. Okay. In the last question, we have already seen about what is a parsec and what is the value of one parsec. Okay. So we have to convert the meter unit into parsec unit. How much parallax would this star named Alpha Centauri so, when viewed from two locations of the earth, six months apart in its orbit around the sun. So, in the last question also, we have considered the base in where the earth is considered at two opposite points. That means in the orbit of the earth, we have to consider two opposite points. And from that, we will have to find out the parallax angle. So, first of all, let us find out the parsec expression of this distance. So here we can write. So what are the given points? Let us first write down. Suppose this is denoted by capital D. This is given to be 4.29 light year. So this is the distance of the nearest star. So we have to understand what is one light year. So let us write down first 1 L Y small l small y. This is light year. Okay. So if we express it in meter, so it will have 9.46 into 10 to the power 15 this much of in meter scale okay so this is the conversion from light year to the meter scale so from our previous question we have to see what is one parsec so in the last problem we saw that one parsec equal to this is the astronomical unit of distance okay so this is equal to 3.08 into 10 to the power 16 this much of meter so this is the these are the given points so this one we have found from our last problem and this light year value you have to remember and we are given with 4.29 light year the distance so now we have to convert the distance into the parsec unit okay so distance capital D what will be the distance so we have 4.29 light year 4.29 this much of light year now we have to first convert it into meter okay so what we have 4.29 we have to multiply with this term okay so here we'll have 9.46 into 10 to the power 15 this much of meter this value i am putting here okay so this much of meter so the distance of the star is the this value Again, we have one parsec is this much. So we have to find in meter, then we have to divide or we have to multiply with one by this value. So I hope you understand this. So here we'll have 4.29 into 9.46 into 10 to the power 15. Okay, so this is the numerator and the, in the denominator we'll have this value. Okay. 3.08 into 10 to the power 16 so here we will get a value of 1.32 parsec 1.32 parsec why i am writing this parsec because we have divided the numerator with this value okay this is the conversion from meter to the parsec value so now we have found out in the first part of this problem we have got the answer so we have expressed in terms of parsec unit okay now we have to find out the parallax that this star the named as this alpha centauri we have to find out the parallax angle viewed from the two locations that of the earth six months apart in its orbit around the sun suppose we have this orbit orbit of the earth around the sun so from here to here we'll have six months apart that means now one position of earth is here and another position is here so in 12 months 
okay it revolves around the sun and in six months it will distance it will cover distance of half of it and this diameter so this diameter we have found out in our previous question or it, is, it was given in the previous question that 3 into 10 to the power 11 meter this much of value we have again we have a star here okay we have a star here so this one is the star now we have to find out the parallax angle so we have to join these points okay this star we have to join these two points you join by straight line and you have to now find out this angle this angle is nothing but theta and this is nothing but the parallax so this is the parallax angle now in our previous theory part of our discussion in this tutorial series we have already found that this distance here we have this one is the distance okay and this one was the baseline baseline represented by small b and this theta is in in a radian unit okay so from our previous classes we have found a relation between these three points that is the parallax angle this is the parallax angle this is the distance of the star and this is the base so from our previous tutorial we have got that b is equal to b by theta this theta is in radian unit okay this b should be in meter unit and this d is also in meter unit so these are the units according to this question we have to find out the value of theta theta is the parallax angle so here we'll have b divided by capital d okay now let us replace the values of small b and capital d we have got that the small b has a value of 3 into 10 to the power 11 meter and we have this capital D value capital D value we have found out just now this capital D value is this one 1.32 per sec and in meter we have this value so we have to put this value of meter okay 4.29 into 9.46 4.29 into 9.46 into we have 10 to the power 15 10 to the power 15 okay so this is another meter unit remove this meter units here and here we can write directly as this is in radian because this theta is in radian we have already seen okay so you can refer to the section 2.3.1 from the book chapter okay so here we will get in radian we will have 7.3928 this much of radian now this one is in radian unit if we now want to convert into its equivalent degree or minute or second unit now we have to convert it okay so we know that 180 degree is equal to pi radian okay pi radian is equal to 180 degree 1 radian is equal to 180 degree divided by pi okay so we have to replace this value so here we'll have 7.3928 this one is the value into multiplied by this is 1 by 180 this is 180 divided by pi okay this will be in degree degree unit now if we want to convert this degree into minute and second so what will have 7.3928 into 180 divided by pi into if we multiply with 60 then this result will be in minute if we multiply with another 60 then this result will be in second unit so here we'll get a value of 1.5 second so this is the angle value this value is very small you can see here that means the star is at very large distance we have already seen that it is expressed in light year unit 4.29 light year so this is the parallax angle this is the value of okay this is the parallax angle thank you for watching if you have any question please put it in the comment section below also like share and subscribe to my channel 
थैंक यू